welcome to Van Life Rocks channel. Uh, doing my second video for today real quick. Uh, the last one was all about vlogging. The one I uploaded earlier today was uh, the paint job, rattle cam paint job day one. Uh, I'm going to jump right into, I think, filming day two. But before I do that, since I'm out here, I wanted to do a little bit more of a vlog. Last one was more of an update and what the channel is about. This one, I just want to kind of jump in and let uh, do the intro for a new tour. I kind of feel like I need to do a new tour video of this. Uh, I've done some neat stuff to it. Uh, I didn't really like how the last tour video turned out, so I kind of want to do that. So stay tuned. We're going to do a new tour, an updated 2022 uh, tour of the Spirit Avenger. All right, we'll start in the cabin. So this is the cockpit uh, driver's seat. Nothing too special. I, I kind of, it has a little bit of tear on the seat. So I threw on my own like, like little cloth set up to kind of, and a t-shirt over the back. I like the color red if you couldn't tell. So I kind of just threw what I had to make it nice. And I had an extra like little steering wheel cover. <laughs> As you can see, what I was mentioning in the last video is the alignment on this is definitely off. If you can see, the steering wheel is completely upside down, and yet the wheels are facing straight. It does not affect driving whatsoever. Like you can just drive like normal, just realize the steering wheel is like upside down position. Or if I get the chance, which I would like to take, my own do-it-yourself realignment to fix that little issue. A little weird, but doable. You can totally live with it. You can continue to drive with it, no big deal. Ignore what I have on the dashboard. That's part of the decorations I still need to hang up. Uh, but right now I have like some little wall hangings, I have a little tiger themed wall hangings. Uh, I got the mirror, uh, it's kind of falling off a little bit. Got to readjust it. Uh, nothing too special about the cabinet I, or ca uh, cockpit. I haven't painted it yet, but I have been cleaning it out. Uh, you know, it's just your standard driver's seat, passenger seat. Looks like any other van at this point. We have a semi upgraded stereo, but it's still pretty dated. Uh, but it is an upgrade from the original. We kick it on, it, it kicks right over with a nice little hidden feature. You can turn, you can crank the key, and it does nothing. You, but turn it on uh, to start the vehicle you have to hit that little button i don't know why who installed that in this vehicle but i find it kind of neat it's almost like an anti-theft if, if you don't know how to use it or if you don't know that button exists you pretty much can't drive off with this thing i got the little power inverter here i don't have it hooked up at the moment but it was uh just like a little 300 water to kind of power small needs in the vehicle while recharging it while driving and things like that. No big deal. I uh, was having it hooked up to a like a battery or something like that. Uh, right now, we're reworking that whole system out. So the solar is currently not on the van. It's sitting in a garage right now. Uh, the solar panels and, and all that kind of stuff. But I should actually conclude this video with the full thing together but right now we have nothing on the roof because we're painting the roof so we took it all down and that's that we don't have a whole lot more to show right now the center area what i'd like to do with it besides clean it is i'd like to put like a little cushioned bench right here or something so i can have it level across and use this as a whole nother area that someone could sleep in. Say you got a kid with you or whatnot. It would make a nice little kid area for another person to sleep in. If I didn't go that route, it's a pretty nice, good open space that I can do just about anything with. I've seen people put uh, little Dometic refrigerators or whatever right there. And that, that works. I thought about that as well. Definitely some kind of storage or something. Uh, maybe the entertainment system i don't know i haven't quite figured it out right now i just have a safe sitting right there because i just to keep like paperwork and stuff safe there ain't nothing really of value in it right now but it's a nice sturdy heavy uh flat box to either sit on or do whatever you want with it. nothing special and as you can see i have a little curtain going across it's not exactly a blackout curtain it's just some cheap little tablecloth or whatever i had lying around 
uh, it's pretty see-through other than right now it's kind of double layered but single layer it's it's pretty see-through uh, it does the trick for me for now uh, I don't have it fully stretched across as I cut it too thin when you go the long ways anyway but if I flip it and do it the you know the, the full length I, I do have enough of the material to go fully across I just haven't really felt the need to but it's there I installed this little bathroom shower curtain rod <laughs> it's not really secured too well I just got two little clamps there that aren't really doing a whole lot for it just somewhat holding it in place it doesn't really move around or anything I haven't really had a problem with it I'm sure if I was going off-roading or anything like that it might bounce around I will uh, be putting some kind of like maybe an adhesive or something to kind of block it from rolling around or falling out so far i haven't had any issue with that anyway got my nice little coat rack lanterns just kind of hanging i know that's not very efficient for driving mode but you know if, for hanging out mode it works pretty well got ourselves a nice little lantern battery operated <laughs> it's kind of weird but i do have a movable puck light and things like that all over the place inside here as you'll see if you continue watching I'd also like to add that I did the same thing for the windows. Just got two little curtains. Uh, they're not exactly the most efficient. These ones were cut for the last van, so they're a little short. They just offer a little bit of privacy. I'm not too worried about it in the main cabin because it, I'm not like running around here naked or anything stupid. Uh, and if I was, well, at least it's given me just enough privacy to feel comfortable uh, continuing the tour from the lantern down is i just have two coolers ideally like i was saying i should put some kind of fridge in here like a mini fridge uh like a dometic or something 12 volt thingy you know uh it fits really well right here and that's really the only reason i have it in here is it does kind of uh, give me some food storage as well as it's a placeholder for where I would like to put an actual fridge and do like a mini kitchen build nothing as big as you see in a lot of other vans as I don't really feel the need to build it up like a huge kitchen set because I do like the bench sitting right here so if I were to build it up and I am planning on doing so the longer I have this thing is I would put a little mini fridge most likely right there build a little shelf about where that mid beam is uh Actually, it's not a beam. It's just like the indent from the thing. Once I've insulated the wall, of course, I'd like to put something there that can um, be like a storage shelf, give enough room for the lid to open and all that, and, you know, have somewhere to... I don't... With this design, I'm not really trying to go for a cooking shelf right here or food prep area so much because that, I'll show you in a minute, is going to be on the barn door, but... Uh, right now I do have two coolers this one I've got the drinks in not the healthiest choices but I do have drinks uh, it's free to kind of slide around I don't have anything securing it at the moment like I said I haven't really been driving this around if I were to drive it around I would just move it to the floor or uh, install just like a, a little bungee system wrapping around or something like that like most people are doing is the bungee thing I could easily see myself doing that for now I don't really have a need for it Underneath, I just have food storage. I have a bunch of canned goods in there. Don't really need to store canned goods inside there. I do have like some my snack items and cereals and stuff like that right there. Most part, it's just filled with chilies and beans and things like that, uh, which are easily stored underneath the bench seat, which I didn't clear off because I wasn't planning on doing this video specifically, but I do have extra storage underneath. Got the poo bucket right here in the emergency of needing it. It does have a poo lid on it. You know, toilet seat lid on it. I custom made it to where it's the size of one of those milk crates I used in the other videos. So it can slide under the seat. I just had to shorten it by an inch or two. No big deal. Uh, and then it works out well. I got extra light and you know, storage under here. But ideally underneath the bench seat would be all like the food pantry I'm thinking. You know, any extra food supply for the longer hauls things like that for living in that's where i'd put that and we're gonna switch over to the door the door area so 
as you can see in my last video i was talking about this on my last uh tour video i wanted to put the kitchen stove area right on this barn door so i kind of i marked it with a dry erase marker uh and i, I can't spell i put kitsch <laughs> i don't know why i forgot the end but i was just in a hurry i began cutting where i want to build it uh, but my uh my Dremel tool uh, blade broke, so I had to go get more. Haven't finished the cut. Only had one. Uh, so working on that. But w once I get the blade, a new blade for it, I'll finish it up. I'm just going to kind of cut straight down on both sides. Either fo uh, 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 fold it in, I believe, so it creates like a little inside shelf. Or just completely rip it out and build a little inside shelf. Uh, the idea for this area, I'm thinking, is just for like storing spices and, and maybe utensils and things like that. A uh, fold-out uh, platform for like the, the Coleman stove, you know, camper stove or something like that. Uh, just where it's on the door. Um, beginning that build, I haven't gotten that far yet. I don't even have a camper stove yet. Uh, but the idea is there. It, it looks like a perfect area to fit it. There's storage behind it for like maybe the pots and pans and anything like that uh needed for cooking you know i only need like one or two of each so no big deal i got my running water over here just gotta click that little tab and it's gravity just shoots it right out i don't need a pump or anything but it's a two and a half gallon thing so good for a day or two uh you know i could get like maybe a backup jug of water to keep in the van to reload it with or whatnot but it, it's on the door it works it, it fit right in the cubby hole I might have to build a little bit more to fashion it in there stronger because it kind of just rattles around. Um, if you slam the door, it will fall out. So I will have to build it out a little bit better, which just like the kitchen, uh, the stove side, I drew out maybe my idea of that. So if I cut it down, fold it in, uh, put some kind of like adhesive or, or, you know, something to secure it better would be a good idea. Maybe not adhesive but maybe a velcro if i put a nice velcro across the bottom of the water jug and on the platform there it would probably be enough to kind of just hold it and not be a permanent thing so you can still rip it out fill it up do that kind of thing but keep it from falling out so we got some ideas there trying to work on that again i'm sitting in the bench seat so let me show you. quick tour of the bench seating like i said i've got this is my, my play area. This is the, the hangout where I'm doing the studio vlogging. As I mentioned before in this area, uh, if this were to be mine, if I were to keep it forever, I'd just put my guitar amp probably right there where the where I said the fridge or put the guitar amp over there and the fridge over there, whichever one fits best. But, you know, play my guitars and do my studio recording stuff right in this little living space. And like I said, it makes a nice, other sleeping area for a short person child or uh, if you don't mind being curled up in a ball even an adult i've slept in worse and it's actually quite comfortable i've taken many naps in this thing already uh, i love it it's comfortable i got my little pillows in there to keep it even more comfortable got no complaints and again the storage underneath but ideally like i threw down some carpet and a yoga mat underneath just to kind of, if you're kneeling around or whatnot, it's a little softer on the knees and looks nice kind of thing. I should, but I haven't done any flooring for this. I want to get like rubber mats or something. I was going to do the wood flooring. I gathered wood material. I found wood paneling and flooring and all that. But after testing it out, a little bit of rain got in and just warped one of the boards. I'm like, well, I'm not going to install that until I know how to prevent it from warping thus either handling the leak problem but even if like wet feet or something get on it is it going to warp it so I don't know I'm still holding out on the wood floor in the meantime I'm thinking of going with a rubber floor you know like uh, the rubber mats you see in most like workplaces I think that would be just fine uh, and comfortable so I might go that route unless they just maybe get too gritty too dirty I don't know so if you have any ideas on whether I should go with a wood floor or a rubber mat, let me know. This, this kind of sucks, but it's not affecting me any. <laughs> I could even just do what I've done before and just throw down a bath mat 
also works. You know, I've done this a few times. I just wanted to get a better bath mat that fits and looks right. You know, this one's not exactly in color theme, but it is comfortable and it is a found item. So there's that. Last but not least, the sleeping area. Now this is the part of the van that's probably my favorite. Because it's so big, it fits a full-size Serta queen mattress. Let me show you that. Uh, okay, well, I've got a, I got a sheet on it for once, but it's a beauty rest. It's pillow top. Another found item that was in great, excellent condition. Got it for free. No stains, no nothing too concerning, no smells. So we threw it in there. $500 value right there for free. Can't complain. I just built uh, some, from some wood I had lying around. I built just a, a little bit of a platform for it. And supporting it with the milk crate idea from before, from the other builds. Which, with the frame I built, it doesn't really need the milk crates. But they do just add a little extra storage and extra support. The reason I like using the milk crates for storage is... I just take my little cane, reach down under, hook one of the crates, I guess it, hook one of the crates, pull it forward, and I can access whatever's inside of it. A little tricky to do one-handed, but you get the idea. Again, I got my garage kind of going on right here, so forgive me. Got my gas can, which you know, I had to use it recently, otherwise I, I have it kind of secured over here. Spare gas cans never hurt you. You never know when you're going to run out. I was originally going to kind of take this extra foot or two of space and maybe make a closet right here. There's something about the depth of the well. A closet for clothing storage or something like that. and Or at least on one side of this and on the other side. Whichever side I choose to do the closet on, which would probably actually be this side. And this side I was thinking doing as the actual, like, toilet space you know a nice little maybe hanging shower toilet combo i don't know something like that i would like to do that i got the toilet kind of front underneath the bench seat but whatever i don't really think it's wise to use the toilet in your van as much as possible but you know those emergencies do happen for now it's just kind of the extra garage space because i'm building and working on things but when it's no longer needed for that purpose i would if keeping it i would build this out to be just another kind of like another room or a bathroom kind of area because it could be walled off right here and serve its purpose to be an extra little tiny room because you can actually shit in privacy the door closed there'd be plenty of room behind there with a little bit of privacy depends on who you're sharing space with i did install a little power bar that i run into that little battery down there the aco power 400 watt battery so it's not the most powerful uh mainly i use this when i'm on shore power uh, but it can run a few devices off of the battery for a limited time hook the solar panel to it and you got yourself at least 400 watts of power distributed i do have a little computer monitor i, I set up just to kind of make like when i'm watching a, a laptop or whatever i can watch them a little bit bigger screen but for the most part that's just there to hold the idea down i built these cool little shelves that are drop down shelves uh, i got that one clipped down there but it basically just like the one in front of it it just drops down or it folds away I do have to build a little bit more of a clip to hold them in place. Be kinda, uh, yeah, this, this one doesn't do it, but you can hold it in place with a, a clip or some, some way to fasten it down. I haven't quite solved that problem yet, but to keep cool, I got the fans going on this side. And I believe I got another shower rod on the back door just for whatever those needs are. The van came installed with this thing. It came with this thing installed. I don't really understand the purpose of it whatsoever, but I've just been hanging stuff off it. Uh, removing it is easy, but it's served a pretty neat purpose so far of just hanging jackets and whatnot on it. So for now, it stays. I do have a shower curtain 
to create the privacy window. There you go. So that's kind of that. And of course, the barn doors on the back are part of the garage storage as well. This is kind of where I store some extra cleaning materials, whatever you need. You store your uh, tools, maybe. Oh, I call the doors my garage area, but still kind of figuring out the true purpose of their nature for now. They hold everything I need. Pretty cool. So, there you have it. That is the Spirit Avenger Dodge Ram 2500 van. Uh, again, new tour, updated tour. I've done a little bit of new work on it um, as far as the inside goes. Hopefully I can film it, but I'd like to actually continue painting the interior. I've done some walls. Up. Most of the back walls have been painted now. I just kind of do more of the upper mid section would be painted with the uh, interior house paint versus the spray can cans I've been using on the outside. I have a whole bucket of interior paint that I wasn't using, so we're using it. Got that for free. Again, the build is free so far. Ah, she's beautiful to me. Uh, I want to keep it. I don't want to fall in love with it, but I have. Uh, but I just think maybe for job purposes, down, downsizing to a uh, Prius or something would make me be able to get around more. The only thing I value more than shelter in this particular situation is travel. If I can't adventure, I can't travel and I can't adventure, then that sucks. I'd rather be able to travel and adventure, even if it means downsizing. So looks like we're going to have to downsize so I can get back on the road. This thing's a gas guzzler, costs too much to drive. Too much to move around for me <laughs> uh, I like to do DoorDash as a side hustle and that is not a dash vehicle so there's that thank you for watching the Spirit Avenger round two tour uh, hopefully I can finish building it out and show a final result before it's sold but I do have some prospect buyers coming soon <laughs> hopefully in a couple hours someone might buy this up as is See how it goes.